All right. Good morning, Minnesota, and good morning to our studio audience here today, live on this Fossil Day. So exciting. I'm Cy Entist, your favorite local science reporter, coming to you from the Science Museum of Minnesota with a special report regarding the state of Minnesota state fossil. I'm told the people have spoken, and a candidate for Minnesota state fossil has been selected by popular vote. For more background on this developing story, Let's go to actual paleontologist, Dr. Alex Hastings. Hi there, Cy. Thank Hi. you. It yes. is a big day. Big here day. At the <laughs> As you know, Minnesota is one of the few state uh, states that does not have a state fossil, Ooh. and we mm -hmm. aim to fix that. Yes. Uh, so we started out with a couple of criteria, a list of suggested fossils. We had a bit of a write-in period, mm -hmm. and today we are ready to make the big <laughs> announcement. <laughs> That's right, Dr. Hastings. Now, I understand the candidates have to be found in Minnesota and be old enough to be found as a fossil. That's right. And that generally means 10,000 years or older. Also usually means that there's been some mineralization that's happened. So the same things that go into the rocks can also go into the original thing that was alive, uh, making it fossil. Ah. Oh. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> okay. Now, during that write-in period you mentioned, mm -hmm. a strong contender emerged, but in addition to the people's favor, it also brought its own baggage. Right. Isn't that right? Yeah. yeah. So uh, from the write-in period, there's really only one standout, which was the giant beaver. Now, the giant beaver actually was proposed back in 1988 as the state fossil uh, for oh. Minnesota. We don't entirely know all the reasons behind it, but it did fizzle out. But if mm. that becomes the uh, choice here, this could be its second chance. Oh, and who doesn't love a comeback story? <laughs> I guess you could say in that situation that the Beaver delegation has been fighting tooth and nail um, for the yeah, nomination. Definitely. You know, because you could definitely say that. Yeah, so. Beaver teeth. Uh, so we had a full slate of state fossil okay. contenders, mm -hmm. really great stuff from across Minnesota, different parts, as well as different geologic times, too. Ooh. Um, but unfortunately, around here, we don't have a lot of T-Rexes. Lots of other great stuff. Though. Okay. Well, Dr. Hastings, you've certainly done your due diligence, dinos or not. <laughs> now, before we announce the winning vote getter that will go on to Minnesota's legislature before being passed into law, let's reflect on how we got here, courtesy of some of the most passionate lobbyists Ooh. in this campaign season. Hi, my name is Castiel, and I picked the trilobite because it is a cool, extinct creature of the deep. My name is Chet from Minnesota, and I look for the stromatolite because it's old and funny. Hi, I'm Alison, and I'm voting for the Terminalis robusta because I like fishing. Hi, my name is Isabel. I live at Rosemount. I picked the Scimitar Tooth Cat. Why? Because cats are cuddling cute. Beaver! Beaver! Powerful words from some of the most powerful lobbyists in our state. We are so lucky to have such strong voices in our community. However, there can be only one state fossil and that is the fossil that hears the most voices. We're just about ready to announce which fossil that is, but first a final look at our candidates. The candidates for the nomination of Minnesota state fossil are... Stromatolite, Mary Ellen Jasper. Trilobite, Dicalocephalus minnesotensis. The giant squid relative, Endoceris. The crow shark, or Squalocorax. The long snouted crocodile relative, Terminonaris robusta. The Colombian mammoth. The giant beaver. The ancient bison. Homotherium serum, the scimitar toothed cat. Who will it be? All right, All right. we're here. Very here exciting. 
the winner of the most <laughs> votes, the fossil that will go on to be nominated as our official state fossil in the Minnesota legislature is none other than the giant beaver. Oh, you Look love this face oh how do you feel how do you feel Look at that hey. right. oh my gosh what an exciting oh, day fantastic. let's hear from our winner at their campaign headquarters okay. What a long path to victory this has been. When I first ran for State Fossil back in 1988, we didn't have this social internet voting business. We just had shoulder pads and fax machines and what have you. So to be the write-in candidate this year and then to get all these votes feels like a real miracle. I might break out some cool dance moves like the worm, wow. So thank you to all the voters. Thank you to the people who never forgot about me and my first run for State Fossil. To my advocates who secured my spot in the write-in campaign and to everyone who voted for me and lobbied for this victory. It really shows the importance of using your voice in our democracy. It is my hope that your support will show the legislature that it's time we finally make this official after all these years. I may have Ohio in my scientific name, but I assure you, my heart belongs to the people of Minnesota! Thank you so much! Yeah! Who wouldn't be? Mm -hmm. It's such an historic and scientific morning here. Now, Dr. Hastings, why do you think that this fossil won the hearts and the minds of the most Minnesotans? Well, it's a giant beaver. How can't you? <laughs> why wouldn't you love yeah, that? That's right? fair. It's a beaver the size of a black bear. Like, that's pretty impressive, right? There's Ooh. beavers still throughout all of Minnesota today. They're an important part of the ecosystems mm -hmm. here. A lot of people have seen them and, and learned to love these little toothy critters. So why wouldn't you love an even larger version of that? Yes, so, I mean, that's I what I always say. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> Thank you so much to all the voters, to all the fossils, and most of all, thank you to science. Remember that science is here for you, especially at the Science Museum of Minnesota. You can learn more, learn more about the state fossil candidates that we have here, today's winner, this happy guy, and all other kinds of scientific wonders at smm.org. Make sure to stay tuned for this fossil's journey through its next phase, the state legislature. Very exciting. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Oh, well, sorry. Hey, just wanted to say thanks to everyone who voted for me. I thought we had a pretty good chance, eh, with Minnesota being part of my name, but we weren't able to sneak past the competition, so sorry about that. I'll let you go now. Okay, thanks again. Everybody had real nice qualifications, some interesting arguments for why they should be state fossil, but that's just the way the hot dish crumbles, you know. Anyway, sorry. Okay, goodbye. I'll still be here, just not as your state fossil, but I'll be around. Sorry. Okay, bye. I mean, I'm extinct, but I'll be around in, you know, your hearts and minds, so yeah. Nice to be out and see everybody. Okay. Well, uh, see you later then. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. I'm just going to go back here and wish I had a sweater, but trilobites don't, you know. Okay. All right. Goodbye, everyone. Anyone hungry? Anyone want, you know, breakfast or something? Because I uh, no. Okay. There's a booyah down at the, you know, the, the community center. Do you want booyah? I like booyah. I know where there's a meat raffle right now if anyone wants a meat raffle. Okay. Bye. I've never actually won at a meat raffle, but you know, it, it's good to know they're there for there's, so there's meat. Okay, see ya.